Hi, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani here, and today's talk is on calorie partitioning and essentially why we get fat. So reviewing calorie partitioning, all that means is essentially how is the fuel that you're taking in your body getting burned? What direction, where in your body is it going? Is it getting burnt out by your muscles and your mitochondria, or is it getting stored in your fat cell? So one of the first things that, that dictates this, the primary thing, is actually hormones. So again, when you eat your meal, typically what we see is this. We have blood sugar on the y-axis, time on the right. If we're eating inflammatory foods, if we're eating refined sugar, if we're just skipping breakfast or skipping meals or going too long between meals, we tend to see blood sugar ebbs and flows, uh, highs and lows, peaks and valleys. At the top of the peaks, we typically see excess insulin. At the bottom of the peaks, we eventually see excess cortisol. So these ebbs and flows actually affect our hormones in a way that control where calories go. So when we go deeper, when we go inside the body now, when we make that excess insulin and cortisol here from those ebbs and flows in the past, there are calories that are in our bloodstream, K is the German word for calorie, and we have bloodstream here, our calories are now being shunted towards our fat cell. So then over time, what we're going to start to see is an accumulation in the fat cell of calories, and the fat gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's kind of a key concept here. As the fat cell is getting bigger, the mitochondria gets smaller. So typically, we always gain weight and feel more lethargic. We always feel worse when we get fatter. We never sit there and say, oh my gosh, I just gained 20 pounds this month and I feel great. Never happens that way. You always get more sluggish, more tired, and more fatigued. So again, uh, the goal really is we want to switch our meal around, be eating anti-inflammatory. Remember, your fat cell is the number one place where inflammation, uh, different interleukins like IL-3, are produced. They're produced from your fat cell. So in essence, your fat cell is essentially an endocrine gland producing leptin, which helps signal satiety and makes you feel full, and also stimulates that interleukin-3 that I mentioned before. So again, when we're eating anti-inflammatory, we're not skipping breakfast, we're not skipping meals. Again, the more our thyroid's impaired, we want to be eating every three to five hours high quality protein fats. We shouldn't be doing intermittent fasting if we have fatigued adrenals and thyroid because we only fatigue our thyroid and adrenals more when we go low calorie because we tell our body we're going into a state of starvation, low calories. Your body actually starts producing less T3, your active thyroid hormone, more reverse T3, which is like the break on the thyroid, and our body starts actually producing more cortisol, and it starts shifting and producing less sex hormones to help us rebuild. So it's, it's pretty devastating when we're already unhealthy to go too low calorie. So we want to keep our, our fats and, and proteins adequate and getting most of our carbohydrates um, from non-starchy vegetables, some fruits, but again, the more active we are, the more we can start increasing our carbohydrate. So recapping, eating every three to five hours, stable blood sugar, better mood, better energy, this allows us to burn more fat for fuel. Again, when we go inside of our body, what we see is this. We're making more glucagon, HSL is hormone-sensitive lipase. We're producing more growth hormone, and we're actually making more T3. T3 is our active thyroid hormone. And again, most patients that are on your typical synthetic um, thyroid formulas like Synthroid or Levothyroxine or thyroxyl they're not actually converting the, the T4, which is inactive, to T3. So we see a lot of patients that are <clears throat> being treated for thyroid actually still have very low T3. So again, if you have a thyroid issue, it's great to look there if we're still having stubborn weight loss. But again, all these hormones are driving our calories towards our mitochondria now. So it's, it's really the hormones that drive the calories. A thousand calories of high quality protein and fat versus a thousand calories of high fructose corn syrup they trigger totally different responses in the body. And that's important to keep that in mind. As you can see, we have more energy. The fat is being partitioned off to the body because we have signals telling the body, hey, we've got plenty of fuel coming into it. Let's burn it up. Let's not store it for a rainy day. we got plenty of fuel. And then again, the um, fat cell gets smaller as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There's some interesting concepts here. And the key takeaway is hormones are more important. And again, we want to be eating and exercise and, and sleeping and taking care of our body to produce the most optimal hormones. Feel free and check out justinhealth.com for more resources and information regarding this. Thanks. Have a great day.